What is the American dream for you? The American dream to me, Jesse, is providing a life equal to or better than I had. A childhood, safe housing for my kid, a pathway to college, higher education, and to make sure that my daughter and any kids that I might have can reach their full potential. And what were you like when you were growing up? It was the best childhood anyone could imagine oh, here in Malibu. Right yeah. on. The American dream for me is just for everyone to come together in a bigger community and support each other and you know look after one another and be able to live your life the best way for yourself and for your family. Have a joy-filled life, you know? Not just, you know, strive to be happy, but strive for joy. And definitely let life be the unexpected energy that it is. I just want to be surrounded by good people, by people who appreciate their country and appreciate the people around them and have respect for the people around them. Yeah. That's the American dream. Amazing. Welcome to the Fall Estate. I am Jesse Lee Peterson. Today we are in beautiful Malibu, California. Uh 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 uh. I want to know are the elected officials doing a good job dealing with the fires and homelessness? Do you think the fires are caused by climate change or something else? Well, there's definitely a difference. Um, I, I, I'm, I have a surfer. I can tell oh. with the water anyways. It's warmer than what it has been. So it's climate change that caused the fire? I, I believe so, yeah. I mean, things are changing. Fires have always been a part of life in Malibu. This is a high fire danger area. Yeah. I've been living in Malibu off and on since I was 17, and I've seen many fires, and that's just part of nature. Do you believe in climate change? Of course. And is the fire caused by climate change or not? No. The fact that there is climate change maybe exacerbates the fire danger because temperatures are higher, the fire season is now longer in California than it used to be. Yeah. They haven't done controlled burning in California in 10 years. That's true. Fire and burning. I do think they, they could mitigate yeah. the damage done by fires by doing controlled burns. And there are other things that they can do to, to control the growth of vegetation. All it takes is a is livestock just going through there, goats eating it up. You just cut down all the weeds. Fires couldn't scorch sides of hills and stuff right. like that. Absolutely. You know, anything eating it up and That's cutting right. it down. If they were to control their environment better by uh, control burning, it would be so dramatic. Do so you says you. You, do you. I ask, do you agree with that? No, the out of control burns are doing just fine to get rid of a lot of this stuff, but we have wildlife here. I mean, if, if we do a controlled burn and we are we going to burn up a mountain lion's habitat, the habitat for the deer or hawks? Governor Newsom blamed the fire on climate change. Do you agree with that? Blame? Uh -huh. No. I blame the fire on PG&E. And, and, and why do you blame them? Because their fucking infrastructure keeps falling down and burning up our mountains. <laughs> I know that there have been incidents with sparks. I live in Calabasas and I was oh. evacuated last year yeah. and my whole area burned around me so it really affected me negatively and even working here in Malibu it affected our entire community. Her dad actually saved their house. Your father saved your house? Mm -hmm. Yeah, with the fires that were here last time in Malibu. We live right by Canaan, so in Ramirez Canyon, and he stayed, had all the fire hoses out, but my dad prepares all year round, so there's not extra brush, and our house is fireproof, he built it. Newsom blamed if uh, climate change. What do you say about that? I think that's total baloney. Um, <laughs> they've been talking about that for years now. In the yeah. 80s, they said that, you know, we had to do something about global warming and it would already have happened by now. Like, we would have already been underwater. What do you think about the mismanagement of the forest? What do you call those people that uh, forest people, they don't want them to clean out the bushes? Mm. Who are the forest people? Yeah, who are the what forest are people? people? What do people call environmentalists? Oh, uh, I think there does need to be clean up, yeah. but I mean, everything in good moderation. I don't think yeah. we need to knock down forests. We need our forests, but I think everything can be tamed. I think someone's starting the fires, personally, but... I wondered about that, too. Yeah. Is it the illegal aliens or some of the bombs? That who, Billy Joel? Joel? Who? If there's, oh. like, <laughs> if there's cleanup and tree trimming to be done, I feel like it should just be done strictly around the power lines. Right. Like, we can at least focus on those areas right where the power lines are. Yeah.
I want to do this. So here's another fire truck. It's amazing what's happening in Malibu, California. In California, period. But you never expect it to see this in Malibu, where the white folks live. We got to go and talk to some more people. There was a report that they now allow the homeless people to camp in the hills of Malibu. Well, I think this is a sanctuary city, so I think that um, the law enforcement has a really hard time being able to tell people where they can and can't go. Yeah. And there's rumors that a lot of the fires are started by the homeless encampments yeah. and the way that they don't contain the fires. And I know there's so many organizations here in Malibu to help um, those homeless people like find shelter and find places to go. So it's disappointing. So there's been a lot more fires. I don't know if that's because of the conditions or if people are being more careless with their cigarettes or their marijuana or whatever they're smoking. But they are now allowing homeless uh, people in Malibu to camp overnight in the bush above Malibu. What do you think about that? In the bush? Uh huh. Well, that's dangerous if we're not <laughs> controlling these burns because yeah, right. they don't have too many ways out you know they're on foot and they've got all their belongings with them that they have to take and yeah. and that can make it really difficult so that actually makes me a little nervous fires yeah. jesus god man holy god shit about fires <laughs> i'm so not you're only born under a fire sign but i've been surrounded by fire problems mm -hmm. and uh what do you mean being a sagittarius is really hard to do because you're like <laughs> Uh, you know, you're carrying the weight and you're, you know, you're, you're half insane because you're, you know, the... Are you homeless in Malibu? Well, yes and no. I mean, I, technically, I'm... You live I, on the I, streets? I do a lot of cruising around, you know. What, so, what caused you to become homeless in Malibu? Well, stability, stability is one thing and being homeless is another. So, when you're stable and you're, and you're doing something with your life, and you're going all over the place, you're, you're pretty much sleeping on the go. Yeah. And what were the cops talking to you about just now? Uh, just uh, uh, exposure. So I got I get a little bit of a, like a, a, a full on tear right through the middle of my <laughs> right through the middle. So I got my, you know. Oh, he so told I, you to cover it up. I, well, I, I, I covered it up yeah. because I, I felt it was getting a little, uh, you know, a little breezy and, <laughs> and, and uh, people would be like looking at that shit. Are you surprised that the Malibu community allow you to live on the streets in Malibu? I've been in the best houses in this whole entire town. Uh, really? I was, one of my last houses I was in was a $200 million brand new build project. Who paid for that? Um, a gentleman who owns two soap opera shows. Are you on drugs? Uh, I try as much, very hard, I try very hard to be on drugs and it's ridiculous, you know? <laughs> what do you think about the homelessness in Malibu? I'm not in Malibu too often, so I don't always see it. I actually once helped a guy. He he needed a phone to use, and I was a little I was a little weirded out about it, you know, because you don't know what to expect from these guys. Basically, it's an issue, and I mean they have to go somewhere. Why don't they go to Mexico and not California? Um, I guess because they're looking for some sort of peace, and they're looking for some sort of solitude within themselves that they that they can't get other places than they're then some of the places it's beautiful and people are easy going. Are the elect fish officials helping California? Obviously, we, we still see them around, uh, the homeless people around all the time. So I think what's happening is not enough. Yeah. Do you feel uncomfortable with the, all the homeless people around now? You feel safe? I feel safe, but uh, I don't like to have homeless people. Right. They passed a law where the uh, homeless people are allowed to camp overnight in the bush right above Malibu. I think that, is that a good idea? That's just a signal to the people who live around here like, hey, this is how bad it is. You know, it's so bad that you need to pay attention to us. You just can't hide us anywhere. And if, and if people see them, I think that's a signal that more has to be done. When I used to live here in Malibu, uh, I'd say back in the day there was, you know, the homeless situation used to be a lot less homeless people, yeah. I'd say, yeah. you know. Why are the uh, government allowing so many homeless people in Malibu? I would say maybe because, you know, there's a lot of homelessness out in L.A. and the city, you oh, know, right. yeah. So, so like, here, huh? so now they're coming out here to find, you know, possibly more space and get away from the city. Are you nervous around the homeless people? Uh, no, I'm not nervous around homeless people. Do they yell at you? Um, I have been yelled at before, yeah. You know, I've heard 
all kinds of stuff, but you, it doesn't scare me. You give them money? Uh, yeah, I have, I've given homeless people money before. Because um, just to, you know, help out the community, make the world a better place. Are you ever harassed by homeless people? Uh, you know, occasionally they'll, they'll say things. A lot of mental illness is involved in homelessness, and there's nothing necessarily bad by it or personal. I just yeah. ignore them, let them, uh, you know, experience the world as they're experiencing so it. So when they get in my way, I say, get out of the way, you bum. I kick them. I don't believe you. <laughs> <laughs> They pass a, a bill where they are now allowing the homeless people to camp overnight in the bush above Malibu. Is that a good idea? Mm, doesn't bug me in any way, so I don't see why not. Do you feel safe amongst the homeless people? Uh, yeah, to a certain degree, yes. You do? You do? How about you? You feel safe amongst the homeless people? Again, to a certain extent. Yeah, what extent? Um... I mean, they pretty much don't as bother as us. They keep to themselves. Yeah. And I mean, I've had a couple times where they'll wander in my store and yeah. I'll have to ask them to leave, but most of the time they keep to themselves, so. Do they leave when you ask them to, or do they give you a hard time? Uh, depends how much there they are. Do you feel nervous when they walk into the store, like, oh my God, what am I gonna do? Um, a little bit, yeah. a little uneasy. Yeah. Diseases are coming back as a result of the homeless situation. Sure. Typhus and bubonic plant, uh, plague. plague. Sure. Are you concerned about that? <laughs> yeah, of course. It's yeah. a rhetorical question. Why do you think the electoral officials are allowing homelessness to just go out of control? I think they need to be organized to place them in a safe place. Right. Why don't they place them in a safe place? Look, our country is for the people, and uh, whether you have a home or not. Everyone's entitled to a place to live and a home, and, and I think that those government officials need to get more grounded and just realize that every person is valuable. Has the governor or is the governor doing a good job in dealing with the fires and homelessness? I can't speak for the fires, really. Um, homelessness, no. I have not seen much action taken anywhere, and I walk outside downtown several times a day every day. And what do you see every day? Sleeping on the streets. Um, drunkenness, it's exploded it's compared to what it used to be. I actually worked for a, a nonprofit here to feed the homeless, and I did that for about a year. I worked in a kitchen, and I had to quit because we just, we didn't have enough uh, resources to feed everybody, and it was just, uh, it was, it was too much, you know, and there was too many, the kitchen was always dirty because of it, and, it's, you know, it's not their fault, I mean, that they're dirty, but I mean, it just, it was a bad situation all around. So bad. Like I was at a food truck the other night and there was all these homeless people out and it was people, every single person felt obligated to give each person, but there was about nine homeless people at one food truck. So there was more homeless people than the people in the food truck. And it's weird for the people buying the food because you feel bad, yeah. but then you also like can't give every single thing away. That's right. Surfing. And then the American flag. Is the government doing good by California? Debatable. <laughs> <laughs> the, the governor, uh, Newsom, seemed to think that banning plastic straws and mm -hmm. bottles are more important than solving the homeless problem. What do you think about that? I don't necessarily agree with that. Yeah. Yeah, there's yeah. A, lot of, a lot of problems happening with, uh, with the homelessness, of course, and just our safety and, you know, proper care for um, people in need. Obviously they are banning plastic utensils mm. and I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing but to prioritize that over fire safety or solving the homeless problem is obviously wrong. Which is more important banning plastic straws and shampoo bottles or solving homelessness? Uh, solving homelessness. Are the uh, election officials doing good for California? I don't really have an opinion on that. Which is more important, uh, fire safety and solving homelessness or banning plastic straws and shampoo bottles? To think about, you know, plastic straws and everything is, is almost like a luxury, secondary compared to people's lives. The people are the most important thing. The governor, Gavin Newsom, would rather ban plastic straws than to solve the homeless problem. You know, I, I don't know if that's true or not, but I do know that uh, 
Mr. Newsom has done a lot. I think he's smart enough to know that, that, that he still has a lot of work ahead of him. To not have done anything yet is probably his own lack of awareness, but if he was aware, more aware of the problem, I think just knowing who Gavin Newsom is, that he would do something. They keep voting in these representatives. We're largely uninformed yeah, I mean, when yeah. it comes to, to who we're putting in local offices. I mean, we, we don't know what we're doing. I mean, regardless of who's in office, it's a, a mental health problem is, is what we're having. Yeah. Um, there are no shelters for this. There is plenty of low-income housing in downtown L.A., but that does not help those that need actual medical attention right. and uh, rehabilitation. This guy was so dirty and I was like trying, I was thinking like, I don't even know how I would help him. Like even if he came in and take it, took a shower, like that wouldn't even do the job. Yeah. So it's like, we're not, I don't, we do as much as we, we can. We can buy but people a meal here and there, but it's just, I don't, is every, every day someone's like, hey, literally the population hey, just something? keeps growing. Yeah. What do you then, think about the great white hope? The great white hope? Yeah. Which one is that? Oh, you mean crystal meth? <laughs> or cocaine. You live here in Malibu? I do. Yeah. These people come from broken homes or state thrown out children. I've spoken to them personally. There are certain children, unlike me, that go through the system and after they get to a certain age, if they're not adopted, they're thrown out onto the streets. Oh, okay. And with that combination and the rehabs taking advantage, we have what we see here in Malibu. Homelessness is not a, a massive, you can't solve it through a massive solution. Everybody has a unique story. And if you get to know these people individually, then you'll know how to serve them individually. Do you think that the election officials are doing a good job in California? I wish I could say that, but no. Yeah. And why don't the voters insist that they do a, a good job by voting them out and voting in people who would do it? Because a person is smart, but people are idiots. And we don't know what's best for us. That makes sense. California is a very expensive place to live yeah. and nowadays there are people who can't afford housing and so they become homeless you know through no fault of their own they just don't have the money to afford a house or an apartment uh, there are some people who are homeless by choice I think uh, the corporations um, are caring a little too much about money that they're making and there needs to be a distribution a little bit of uh, the economy, you know, an economy that works for all. All the math, jobs so. I have, I've gotten paid less for them and my rent has gone up so much. So there is, is a huge gap between yeah. how much people are getting paid and how much things cost. There's just too many rich people and too many poor people. There it really is too big of a gap. I'm like poor, but not that poor and I can't help. Like <laughs> They build these big gates around their houses, but yet they don't want anybody coming across the border either. Amazing. Yeah, it's kind of weird. <laughs> it is. It's hypocritical. Amazing. Nancy Pelosi, Maxine Waters, and Gavin Newsom. They are more focused on impeaching Donald Trump than they are cleaning up the state. What do you think about that? Um, well, I personally am not in favor of impeachment. There's all these 
unprecedented things that are happening now and yeah. it's all happening behind closed doors. And I think that's extremely unfair to Congress and to the American people because he's our leader and we deserve to know what's being said and what's being done. And beyond that, I don't believe that there's a basis for impeachment at all. I think that he's Amazing. fighting for our rights and fighting for our country and loving our country in a way that we haven't seen in a so long you, time. You love the Great White Hope? Yeah. They're obsessed with impeaching the Great White Hope. What do you think about that? That's a personal issue. What is Trump's impeachment going to do to the homeless people in the street? So the focus should be on the homeless situation rather than impeaching Trump. Yes, this is a, a whole spiritual issue. And if we don't solve this, you'll pay for it in one way or another. Impeachment? Trump tells the truth. He says it like it is. You don't want to hear it, but... Never heard of the Great White Hope? No. Where you been? In the dark. <laughs> Have you heard of uh, Donald Trump, the president? I have heard of Donald Trump. The Great White Hope. That's him? Uh-huh. Oh, that's <laughs> disturbing. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that disturbing? Well, I don't like the racial connotation that goes along with it. Is it okay to be white? It's okay to be white. Oh, uh, yeah. So he's the Great White Hope. He's saving America. I guess I don't like it that that it sounds like he's only helping white people. Cause no, he have an America. But the Great White Hope? Yeah. Cause the Black Loser didn't do it. Remember him? The loser? Uh -huh. who, who's the loser? Obama. How is he a loser? You ever seen Michelle? <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, I don't think voting matters in Los Angeles, right? The, the local government's been doing the shit for the last 40, 50 years. Oh. Maybe longer, right? They, they don't Do care. Do you vote? Do I vote uh -huh. in local elections? I don't live in Malibu. Oh, you don't? No, I live over in East L.A. Oh, I see. Yeah. So, um, and East L.A. Is, even, is worse over there, right? Oh, man, it's, it's yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's a shithole. <laughs> are, the, are the people there upset about it? The citizens there? Yeah, everybody's upset right now. The city's uh, in terrible shape. Nancy Pelosi or Donald Trump? I don't care about either of them. I don't know if they Who care cares about Who cares about you? I have no idea. I think Would they're probably you? part of the same globalist machine. <laughs> What is the American dream for you? To see um, us care about people's well-being um, and not uh, stopping the economic separation that's occurring now between the rich and the poor. I mean, we're the wealthiest nation in the world and we have all this homelessness. Who fault is it that the homeless, so many homeless people around now? Capitalism is, needs to be modified. Are you not a capitalist? I believe in capitalism, and I also believe in social programs. You supported Bernie Sanders in this upcoming election? Yeah, in 2016 I did. Really? Yeah. And why? He cares about the working class. You like Bernie Sanders? Yeah, I like Bernie. Why? Um, I don't know. I think he's got a lot of good ideas. What do you think of the uh, great white hope? Is there a great white hope? Absolutely. <laughs> Donald Trump is an interesting character. He doesn't seem to have much of a filter in terms of the things that he says. That's what makes him so great. Yeah. <laughs> we mean Trump? Uh -huh. is, is it what they're calling the Great White Hope? Yes. Well, I hope for him. I mean, I, I, I like his character, believe it or not, yeah. but I, I really don't know exactly what he's doing, so people give me feedback on him. like They don't like him for whatever reasons. But, um, you like him? I think I like his character yeah. and his personality, and he's uh, a no-bullshit businessman, so... You know, we need that kind of guy in America because, uh, especially if he's for the people now, if yeah. he's not for the people and he's for the, you know. He's for the people. The selected people, but he seems like he's for the people. You know what? I like Trump because he's got some fucking balls. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, he's like me. I mean, seriously, if you want something done, you're going to go, it's going to happen. Why are there so many homeless people in California, in Malibu? Because this is the coolest place on the world to be. <laughs> I'm living my American dream. I can talk to you, stand up. I have a citizenship. I can walk next to the white guy and have a conversation. No issues. There's security. I have a passport. I have water. There's public bathrooms on the corner over there. So I have a lot to be grateful for. And my dream is literally within this moment just talking to you. The American dream for me is for everyone in this country to be happy before I am. I'd rather people before me be happy so that when I show up, <laughs> there's not going to be any problem. You know? And how old are you? 19. 19 today, actually. It's my birthday. Happy birthday, yeah, man. That's you. amazing. Yeah, thank you. Man. Happy birthday. What are you doing for your birthday? I just got work later, and then I'm getting some dinner with my dad. Right on. The American dream, getting a good education and changing the world. What is the American dream for you? I'm living the American dream. I live in Malibu. That's right. And this is, this is the American dream. I own my own home. My own home. I live in a free country. Uh, I do whatever I want. American dream. Peace and love all around. So, in closing, California has become an embarrassment to the country. Los Angeles has human dump on the sidewalk from homelessness. Old diseases are coming back. They're shedding off power grid. But our official Ted Lieu, Nancy Pelosi, Adam Scher, and others are only trying to ban plastic and impeach the great white hope. Thank you all for tuning in. Let me hear from you, all right? Don't forget to merch, follow, like, tweet, subscribe, and tell everybody and their mama about the fallen state.